What's up guys? It's of Daggers and Darkness. Now, I know I spam these videos, you know, I probably do like three every now and then. It's been super busy for me, so I haven't done a video since, I think, just before Christmas with my stocking stuffer, my uh, Magfed manual Glock. I like the suppressor on it. I don't really like the uh, rail mount on it, but that's not the point. Got my grenade here just because I like having something there visually, you know, instead of just me talking. And a lot of the time, it's just a vlog kind of thing, which is without seeing my face, I guess. Um, but yeah, so today's topic, we're going to be talking about um, what to expect in 2018. What can we honestly expect? We already had a blaster come out. Um, I think it was the HK M, no, M16 T2. It had a drum, the double drum mag, and yeah. So that kind of came out. There was kind of rumors of it coming out beforehand. Um... You know, I just want to talk about what I think will come out. I think we might get one or two more kind of uh, magazine-fed pistols. Saying that, we already have the manual Glock, the M1911 in 6mm, the uh, the other M1911, um, which is 7 to 8 mil, and the Desert Eagle. So, we've already got like four... Yeah, four um, kind of pistols that are magazine-fed. So, oh, actually five. I forgot the uh, MK23, um, which was a, which was a front um, magazine fed. But um, yeah, so I don't think we'll get particularly too many more pistols. We might get a new grenade. Like even though this only came out very recently, we might get a new style or maybe just a color difference. Like you know, instead of orange and black, we might get like black and gold or you know just a color difference. I could see maybe a new grenade in the future, something like that. Um, personally, I don't think there'll be too many assault rifles coming out. I think it's just going to be more gearbox work, like, um, viable gearboxes that are upgraded. They just fit into the old gen blasters because, um, these days, uh, it's not really the blasters were, you know, the whole blaster, it's new itself. The plastic's the same plastic or, you know, it's, you know, there's an ABF kind of strong plastic as it is, but, um, it's generally new gearboxes. Or um, priming handles, you know, little little accessories we're getting to blasters that are kind of coming in to um, show. So, I don't think we'll get too many ARs. Maybe one or two full AR builds that come with new stuff, like I said before, the HK. Um, that has the double drum magazine, which it looks really cool. I like it. I, I like it a lot. Um, it looks cool if you put a bipod on it. It kind of feels like an LMG. I feel like we might get some more LMGs because... The, I think it's the M, the M48, oh, no, the M, M24, I don't know, it's fucking, it's an LMG, it looks like the M40, or similar to the M40, I should say, um, it was a big kind of box-fed LMG, um, I feel like, you know, it wasn't too amazing, there was some feeding issues, I'm pretty sure it only ran a 6-volt battery, so there was the issue there that, you know, had to do a lot of upgrading internally just to get, you know, competition kind of compatible. But I feel like we're going to get some new LMGs. And this kind of really hypes me up because I kind of want an LMG juggernaut build. And to do so, you kind of had to basically um, kind of, like, convert one of your blasters, you know, like a SCAR with a drum mag or an M4 with a drum mag, Kind of to get an LMG kind of feel just with the, uh, you know, the magazine capacity and stuff like that. But you, it, it was, you know, it was, it was nice, but it wasn't really like the true LMG feel. So I kind of feel like we might get a couple of LMGs. Um, maybe an M, the M40 A1 would be nice or an RPK. Um, I don't think we're going to get any more AKs, to be honest. We've had a shit ton of them. You know, we had the Terminator AK. We had the... AK-105, tactical and non-tactical, we had the uh, STD AK, we had the AK-14, we had the AK-74U, um, we had, you know, we've had a lot of AKs. Uh, you know, comment if I've left any out, I probably have. We've probably had some hopper-fed AKs and probably two more magazine-fed AKs that I just can't remember the specific name for. But I don't think we're going to get any more AKs. I don't see the point in any more AKs. I, you know, I kind of get if we get a new gearbox, um, which would be nice, you know. Um, yeah, it just depends. I kind of want to see more gearboxes coming out. Like, you can buy gearboxes separately, of course. Um, but I want to see some more gearboxes specifically around kind of upgrading old blasters so like um i got my jim ming scar so i would love to see a new gearbox for it you know to keep it up to date because this was early 2017 this came out um 
So I'd love to see a new gearbox where you can just kind of like open the shell up, put the gearbox in, and you know, it takes maybe 11.1 volt or 7.4. I would prefer 11.1 because, you know, we all kind of like the faster fire rate, more voltage. But um, I'd love to see just new gearboxes instead of like full blasters, just complete new gearboxes that fit into old blasters would be really, really cool to see. Um, like I said, maybe a color design for the new grenade, like a different color. Um, maybe one pistol or two pistols, it doesn't really worry me at this point. There's that many pistols on the market, hopper and magazine fed, it doesn't really matter at this point. Unless you're playing a CQB map, they're not really effective at all. So, you know, I don't really see the point in them. Like, I, I see the point in the fun to use, but, um, competitively, if someone's running an AR with a drum mag, you know, you're not going to beat them. It's, you know, you're going to have an extreme amount of skill and luck to kind of be very effective with the pistols on a large map, not a CQB map. So guys, comment in the section below what you think we might see, if you think I'm right with, you know, maybe just gearboxes for old blasters, or, um, you know, just comment what you think you might see. Comment what you want to see. I want people to comment what blasters or what I, uh, styled gun blasters you want to see. So like, you know, maybe a mag, some new mag uh, magazine-fed snipers would be amazing. I know they made the JF, 21 s i think it is or the jf21 which is an 8 mil shell ejecting sniper i kind of want to stick away from the shell ejecting i love my shell ejecting but they're not really good for competitive use because you have to pick up the shells maybe if they make a shell ejecting sniper make something that catches the shells on the side like a little baggie it comes with or something because using it like it feels awesome having to cock it each time and shoot and seeing the shells come out it's just so impractical to use i don't use it on the field but maybe some new snipers a magazine fed s VD, maybe a Way 2000, you know, it doesn't really worry me, any kind of bolt action sniper, new or um, semi-auto sniper would be amazing, so that's what I feel guys, comment in the section below what you think we might see, if you want to see more snipers, LMGs, if you want to see more assault rifles that we haven't mentioned, you know, there's a very broad range of stuff that's already out, so guys, just comment in the section below what you want to see, and we'll have a discussion, so... Like, subscribe, catch you next time, guys. Peace out.